Hello, my name is Annette and today we're going to be doing lots of dances all about the Nutcracker. So for our Nutcracker session today, you're going to need three things. Thing number one, please can you find something that's going to be like a pretend present. So I've got this box here, maybe you've got something similar or a bag that you can pretend to be a present. Then we need a wand for our sugar plum fairy dance later on. And if you can, a fan that looks a bit like this. Maybe you've got some paper you can fold into a fan shape. If you've got one of those, that would be awesome. So let's start our Nutcracker dance. For our first dance, can you hold your box to one side and can you give it a really good shake like you're trying to guess what's inside? Then we're going to shake it the other way to guess what's inside. Then we're going to hold it low. Then we're going to stretch up on our tiptoes and hold it really high above our heads. And then low again, have a little look. And then high above your head. Then can you see if you can show everybody in the room your present box? So we show everybody and give it a little shake and then we'll go the other way around having a little look at our box and giving it a little shake. Let's try our present dance. In Clara's present is this fantastic Nutcracker Soldier doll. So we're going to do a dance all about smart soldier marching now. Let's pop him down there to keep him safe. And we're going to start our Nutcracker Soldier dance with some really sharp arms that go up and down like this. Then can you show me your smart soldier marching feet like that? Now we're going to march over to the side. Can you show me your smart marching travelling over this way? And can you show me a really smart salute? And let's go the other way. Can you march over the other way? And can you show me a very smart salute? Let's try our soldier dance with the music. For our next dance, we are going to imagine that we are as spiky as this super snowflake. So, can you see if you can show me your super stretchy hands in this next dance? Can you start our snowflake dance with your stretchy feet apart and can you show me your stretchiest fingers? Then we're going to make it snow by letting our fingers go down, 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 down. Ready? Up and sprinkle the snow all the way down. Then can you see if you can sprinkle side to side with your arms, with your sprinkly fingers? Fantastic! Then can you show me your super fast running feet 
all around your room with your very sprinkly fingers. Are you ready? Off we go. Running really, 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 really fast. Oh, fantastic. Shall we try our snowflake dance with some music? next dance, if you have a wand that you can use, that would be fabulous. We're going to be doing our Sugar Plum Fairy Dance now. So can you see if you can make your feet look super smiley and stretch out your skirt if you've got one or put your hand on your tummy like this. And we're going to go down and up. Then can you have one tiptoe touching your knee like this, up and down, and then the other one, up and down. Then can your wand swish down like this. Then we're going to try doing some little crisscross feet, travelling forwards and then swish all the way back and your crisscross feet travelling forwards and then swishing all the way back. Then we'd love to see your super twirls next. Can you show me your fantastic turns on your toes and a beautiful ballerina pose? And shall we try the other way, swapping our hands around? Off we go! Rounding our tiptoes in a beautiful twirl and a pose like this. Let's try it with some music. One of the other guests that Clara meets in Sweetie Land are some incredible Russian dancers. So we're going to have a go at doing a special Russian dance now. Can you see if you can make your hands look like this? And in your head, I'd like you to say, surprise, as you do that. Now, you can choose, you can either jump your feet apart, jump your feet apart, or if you're feeling super clever, you can show me one toe and then change it round to show me the other toe. Then can you put two hands on top of your elbows and can you show me your feet? Fantastic! Maybe you can go really, really quickly. Oh, fantastic! Let's try our Russian dance with the music.
next dance. If you've got a fan, can you hold it in one hand? And can you see if you can flutter your own face? Then we're going to do a really big flutter. And we're going to flutter right up and right down. Then can you swap hands? So we have the fan in our other hand. Can we do a little flutter? And then a really big flutter all the way around, up and down. Then can you see if you can fan and flutter everybody around you? So can you see if you can show me your super skips and gallops all around your room? And as you go, we're using our fan to flutter everybody. We change hands and then we go the other way. When we get back to the front, we're going to give everybody a double-handed flutter like this. And at the very end, we can give ourselves a flutter after all that hard work. Let's try our fan dance now. We are going to try the Waltz of the Flowers, which is near the end of the Nutcracker. It's a beautiful piece of music. We're going to start off by showing everybody our beautiful flower shapes with our arms. Can you see if you can go right up and right down? Then can you imagine, like a flower in the breeze, can you show me your beautiful side-to-side -side breezy petals? Lovely! Then, can you see if you can show me your up? and down. Oh, fantastic! And then the last move we're going to do is a step to the side and lower the arm. So we show everybody our beautiful arms. At the very end we're going to do a bow or a curtsy. So you can do a bow like this or you can make your legs go crisscross like this. Whichever one you prefer. Let's try our waltz of the flowers. Thank you so much for joining me and my Nutcracker for our dancing today. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas when it does come round. I'll see you soon. Bye!